In this video clip, we will talk about the examples mentioned in the Waiting Lines PowerPoint slides. One of the examples deals with customer arrivals and modeling those customer arrivals using the Poisson distribution. The other example deals with modeling service times using the exponential distribution. So we'll learn how to do both of those using Excel. Our first example is that we're modeling calls to a call center and they are made randomly and independently. So that's our customers are arriving. We model that with the Poisson distribution. We had the formula for the Poisson distribution from our Management Science 103 experience or our first stats experience, as well as we see it in the slides. Okay. This formula, whilst we're going to use Excel to do the actual calculation, gives us key insights into the important components that we need to keep track of so that we're entering the proper arguments into our Excel function. Okay. So the first important parameter, or the only parameter to the Poisson, is the average rate of customer arrivals, which we see is two per minute. So I'm just going to enter that as two, and then that's a per, per minute measurement. So it's always going to be per some time unit. The customer uh, center has three customer service representatives, none of whom is busy. And we want to determine the probability that all calls will be answered in the next minute. Okay, so that's one minute is our time. All calls are answered in the next minute. When does that happen? Well, if N is the number of customers arrive, we are able to answer all calls when? Well, when no customers call. Okay, clearly. Uh, when one customer calls, because then one of the customer services service representatives is busy, but the other two are not, or when two customers call and two of the three customer service representatives are busy, or when three customers call and all three of the customer service representatives are busy. Fourth call, one person gets gets a busy signal or, or is put in the queue. So as long as that n is less than or equal to three, um, we'll be able to answer that call in the next minute. So that's a cumulative probability, right? We've got probability that three call, probability that two call, probability that one call, probability that no call, we add them all up and we get the probability that three or fewer call. Now, if we were doing this by hand, we'd have to do each one of those four calculations individually and sum them up. With Excel, however, we can use the Excel function or specifically the Poisson function. So Poisson and the new versions of Excel, it calls it the Poisson.dist. Uh, old ones called it Poisson. I don't know why the .dist is an improvement, but apparently they've got that in there. And so we're thinking here when we, our first argument is X and X is equal to three. Why? Because we know three, three calls, all customer service representatives will be busy, but everyone's call will be answered for two, for one, for zero, same story. So we're looking at three is the biggest number. Okay. The number, the means is just simply lambda times by T, right? Looking at the formula, right? I see my lambda T, key parameter there. And so I can enter it into the Excel function exactly as I see it in the formula. And then because it's three or fewer, we want the cumulative distribution. If it were just exactly three, we'd click zero or false for, and we'd get the probability mass function. Probability mass function just says, I want the probability of exactly that X, not higher, not lower, but exactly that X. Okay. When we pick cumulative, it's that X and less. Close the bracket and I push enter. So the probability that all calls are answered in the next minute is 0.857. Because of the way I've situated here, where lambda times by t is now my key parameter, if t now switches to two minutes, I just have to push enter and change two, and I see how that probability has changed. Okay. Next question is, what if I want the probability that all three will be busy? Okay, so that means that my n is exactly equal to three, OK? 
Okay, every single one is busy, but there's nobody waiting. So three calls come in. In that particular case, this one over here at the far end where I said three or fewer, now I put in a zero saying I want exactly three. Note the difference. Now, it says probably that all three will be busy in the next minute. So that means I'm going to need to go and change that T to one next minute. Okay. So notice the T is back to one because it's only over one minute. The three still stays the same because I want all three to be busy. But this last argument is switched from a one to a zero to reflect the fact that I want to find just the probability that exactly three call three customers arrive probability that none will be busy that means our n is equal to zero and it just means my very first argument instead of being a three is now a zero okay. still a probability mass function okay so probability of a single point and it's zero and so about 0.135 or 13 and a half percent probability that none are busy. So just that easy, just using that one little Excel function. Now let's work on the second example in our lecture slides, dealing with service times. Okay. Now we're asking ourselves, what is the probability that all lines will remain open for the next three minutes? And the second question is, will a call, will we receive a call in the next three minutes? So one case, we don't get a call in the next three minutes. The other case, we do get a call in the next three minutes. Okay. Now, our um, number of arrivals, same as we had before. So we still have cut the two arriving. Okay, so mu is still uh, two. Uh, arrive per minute as before. Time is now three minutes. In both, actually, but it's tricky. Now it's tricky here. So let's look at the second question. We'll receive a call. When we look at this formula for the exponential distribution, uh, well, mu has got its connection to the Poisson because the Poisson distribution and the exponential distribution are related to each other. The Poisson models when customers arrive. The exponential distribution models the time between arrivals. So they're very related to each other. So we're talking about time between arrivals. When we read the first question, it says, will remain open for the next three minutes. That means the time until the next customer, so we're assuming we start off with no customers, the time until the first customer calls is three minutes or greater. Human or probability, but it's greater than three. The second question is that you will receive a call in the next three minutes, which means you will receive a call in three minutes or less. So first one wants us to find the probability that T is greater than or equal to greater than three. It doesn't much matter with the equal to sign here because we know the probability that it's exactly three is zero, right? Or versus the probability that uh, T is less than three or again, less than or equal to three doesn't much matter, again, because the probability that it's exactly three is zero anyway. So we don't have to be quite as uh, picky on, on the, on the uh, notation as usual. Okay. So greater than three, less than three. When, plus, uh, when Excel gives you a cumulative distribution, the default is that it's less than or equal to whatever X is or whatever T is in this case. Okay. So if we use the X pond dist, function equals to x pawn and x pawn dist in the old version dot dist in the new that's certainly worth an upgrade now what's x x is the t right just looking at the formula here right x is that t so the default here will be that at t less than or equal to three what's my lambda 
well, rivals per minute. Yes, it's cumulative. It's always be cumulative. Probability that it's exactly a given point is going to be zero. The probability density function does not give us a probability. Okay. Close the bracket. And so the probability that I get a call in the next three minutes, 99.75%, very, very high. The probability that I don't is just a complement of that. Or about 2.5%. Or actually, no, 0 0.24, 0.25%. 2%. Sorry, my bad. Okay. So again, very important to notice the subtle difference in, in wording. And that exponential distribution models time between customers. And in this case, the time between calls.